All right, uh, I acquired this um, low noise amplifier from a, uh, I a um, satellite receiving antenna LNA. And so let's take a look at it, see if there's anything we can find. Uh, it's by Bowman Industries uh, from Downey, California, but it's manufactured in Japan, so I don't know who actually made it in Japan. Model LNA 912, its gain is uh, 48 dB minimum to 50 dB typical. And then there's some type of curve here. I don't know what it means, but there's actual data points. Um, 370 gigahertz, 395 gigahertz, and 4.2 gigahertz. So 1 dB, 0.99, and 1 dB. So I don't know what those mean. All right, so these are waveguide. So let's see here, move the camera down. There is a, uh, a little quarter wave stub there, I think. It's like a cross. I think so it can pick up horizontal or vertical um, polarizations. Maybe it's a, maybe it's spiral. I don't, I don't know what type of modulation uh, satellite TV satellite TV was, but anyway, uh, waveguide and pickup antenna. And that comes in, and it gets amplified, and then it comes out a connector. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is look at this side. Okay, so I already have the screws out. All right, microwave goodness. So let's see here. We have, this is the input, this is the output. So the first thing it does is the antenna comes right into an isolator, a uh, circulator, whatever you want to call these things. Uh, these are one-way valves, basically, and they work with a magnetic principle. There's actually a strong magnet in here, and the radio waves come in, and the magnets, it's like a roundabout in traffic. Uh, the uh, waves can go through, but if they try to go the other direction, they get turned around. So only... Only E and M waves go through it. Anything that comes back here doesn't make it out to the antenna. So like one way valve. Um, this isolator says it's good from 3.7 to 4.2 gigahertz. Made by FDK. Made in Japan. All right. So this is the LNA. So let me get something to point with. So it comes in here, capacitively coupled. There's a uh, amplifier uh, mimic here, there's one here, there's one here, there's one here. So it's four stage, one, two, three, four. So it's like NPN, 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 that kind of thing, only microwave -y. And uh, these are like amplifiers on a chip. And you have to bias them with a, with a voltage to make them work. So voltages come in from the other board, which we'll take a look at later. But everything here is on a Teflon board. Uh, it's not FR4, this is actual Teflon. Um, and then there's little uh, matching stubs, and uh, you can see these thin little traces that feed the bias point in. That's an inductor, so that uh, keeps the DC out of the AC. And anyway, um, so all of the bias voltages come in down here. So there's four of those, and they come up and they, they bias the four transistors. And each one has matching stubs to keep the 50 ohms going through, and then it finally comes out the connector. So let's take a look at the uh, at the other side. The other side, I understand. <laughs> All right. So this side is the biasing network. Um, these things run off of a DC voltage that comes up the the center of the coax, and uh, this says it requires 15 volts right on the PC board. So 15 volts comes up goes into a three terminal regulator, which is a six volt regulator. So that 15 turns into six. So we have six volts here, gets filtered. The six volts comes over here to this chip, which is a 555. The 555 os oscillates at nine kilohertz, wax up and down, generates an AC signal that that's, gets picked off and gets turned into a negative voltage. So there's a positive voltage coming in and then there's a negative voltage going out. Now, right here, this test point here is marked three volts positive, and then this flips that upside down and makes it a minus three. So basically, this thing has plus and minus three volts available for the circuit biasing. 
and each one of the transistors is biased individually and tweaked individually. So each one has a, uh, a trimmer, so you can set a voltage. And um, if you go measure these, let's see. I have a uh, voltage here, so let's go ahead and just attach to that point there. And we'll get a, uh, I just turned on my voltmeter here. Is that gonna, gonna be, there we go. I think that'll keep the glare off. Uh, so we have a negative. We'll just stick that in there and call that negative. All right, so let's reach down here. Uh, going in, we have uh, 12 and a half volts. Going out of the regulator, we have six volts, like I said, six volts. And then uh, here at the three volt test point, we have 2.6. Why do we only have 2.6? Let's see here, I think we're not making good contact. Eh, 2.6, okay. So 2.6, and it's not exactly 12, it's not exactly 3, but it's positive 2.6. And then if we reach down here, you can see that we have minus 2.28. So we have plus and minus voltages. And then we can look at each one of the transistors. So the first transistor is biased at minus 0.4. The next one is biased at minus 0.35, next one's biased at minus 0.5, and the next one is biased at minus 0.7. So you can see that they needed to invert the voltage so they can get these negative voltages to make the, uh, make the circuit run. And so the circuit's basically running on plus three or plus 2.7 and these negative bias voltages. So, um, that's, I guess, what it requires. Um, so that's what's that's what's in down here. So I could design this side of the board. I don't think I could design the other side of the board. <laughs> yeah, there we go again. Pretty cool stuff. So the output of this thing is is, is uh, what's coming in. So four gigahertz is coming in, four gigahertz is coming out. It's just amplified amplified by 50 dB, um, which is a lot because satellite signals are very very small. So I guess this just goes into a tuner, and then that gets mixed down, and finally ends up being television, and you get to watch it on your set. Okay, I put on my macro lens here so we can take a look. Uh, this is the isolator, the uh, the antenna solders right here to the isolator, and the isolator solders right to the uh, PC board. And uh, like I said, uh, here's here's one transistor, or mimic actually, and here's the second one, third one, fourth one. I think I think these aren't just transistors. I think they're mimics, but they might be transistors. I'm not sure. Um, and you can see all of the uh, RF matching networks. So that way. And then finally we make it to the outside world. And just because I have the lens on, let's go ahead and take a look at this side. Nothing too exciting here. Like I said, the, the voltage, oops, I should point. Uh, the voltage comes in here. That is uh, connected to the uh, coax, the center of the coax. That just comes here. And six volts is here. And then there's some circuitry that takes that down to three volts. Um, I think what it is is 
the 555 operates on 6 volts, so it's whacking up and down 0 to 6 volts. And they pull that off and they create a positive 3 and a negative 3. And then the positive 3 comes out here, and then the negative 3 goes into over here, and then these are just uh, dividers to ground. So each one gets to have its own reference voltage to each, uh, each transistor. So there you go.